Another quarterback who retired uh, this past week was Big Poppy Philip Rivers. Apparently, half the country's father, Philip Rivers, <laughs> retired this past week. He released a statement um, with the Indianapolis Colts that I'll read out right now. And it states that every year, January 20th, is a special and emotional day. It's the St. Sebastian's Feast Day, the day I played the in the AFC Championship game without an ACL, and now the day that after 17 seasons, I'm announcing my retirement from the National Football League. Thank God for allowing me to live out my childhood dream of playing quarterback in the NFL. I am grateful to all of the Chargers, to the Chargers for the 16 seasons, and to the Colts for the 17th season. Thank you to all my coaches that helped me grow as a player and as a person. Thanks to the support staff. I appreciate the opposing defenses making it challenging physically and mentally every week. I also enjoyed the banter. And, yeah, there was a lot of banter. Yes, I appreciate yeah. some shit. Yeah, I appreciate the referees for putting up with my fussing. I think that it was right, it was right most of the time. Dag gummit. Thanks to the fans in San Diego around and around the nation that both cheered and booed. Special thanks to my teammates. Without without a doubt, my favorite part of the game being a teammate. Thank you for being mine. Lastly, thank you for my wife, my best friend Tiffany, and our children Haley, Caroline, Grace, Gunner, Sarah, Peter, Rebecca, Claire, and Anna. Jesus Christ! Yes, he does have a lot of kids. Could not be, have done it without y'all. On and unwavering support. As my playing career comes to an end, the next chapter begins. So that was a rather lengthy statement. Um, not as lengthy as you know the amount of kids he has. Obviously, Jesus, reading that was. I deserve some sort of award for reading that. But regardless, Drew Brees, I'm sorry, Philip Rivers retired from the NFL after 17 seasons. He uh, he had 16 with the Chargers, one with the Colts. Um, had you know didn't he he was he's been in decline for the past few seasons, but he's still actually probably you know he's still a starting quarterback level um, caliber player, um, not franchise, but you know. What is Philip Rivers' legacy? Because obviously we know he never won a Super Bowl. He was never, you know, he was never really an MVP candidate, even though like there were some years where you could say like he was up there, but he was never really that guy. But, you know, he's he's not like a Joe Flacco type where it's like, okay, like, you know, he's obviously not a great quarterback. Philip Rivers for a long time was a great quarterback. So, Andrew, what's Philip Rivers' legacy after retiring? He's another one. He's a weird one because you got to think about it this way too. A lot of the jokes that are made about Phil Rivers are made about the interceptions because he has thrown a cup, one or two interceptions here and there. Yeah. Um, but you also have to think about it this way. He did not win a championship. He didn't win a championship. Uh, I don't think he ever played in a Super Bowl. But one thing you have to take into account when it comes to Phil Rivers was – a, the talent was there. The talent was definitely there from day one, and he had a good head on his shoulders. He was very durable, very resilient. Man didn't miss a game. The thing, the thing that you have to like take into consideration when you think about the legacy of Phil Rivers was obviously something that not many people remember or not many people are going to take into consideration. I think some people will, but you remember on draft day? Do you remember on draft day when Phil Rivers was drafted? Mm -hmm. Eli Manning. Eli Manning said, I will not. And this was his dad. He had his dad in his ear. And he said, I will not play for the San Diego Chargers. So with that being said, because Eli Manning would have been in San Diego. With that, he went to the Giants. Obviously, much better situation mm -hmm. than, what, than what Rivers went to with the Chargers. Phil Rivers, he said, fuck it. Uh, you know what? I want to play football. I don't care where I'm playing football. I want to go play football. Right. Went. Played for the Chargers. He lasted this. He lasted this long. They went to the playoffs, dude. They they moved. Remember, they moved from San Diego to LA. And even though they were not the best team, they did stay relevant. You know, they were always in the playoff picture. Not necessarily the favorite to win, but you also got to understand too. What were we saying before? What were we saying before? Drew Brees fell victim to what? Drew Brees fell victim to Tom Brady. He had yep. to go through Tom Brady, especially in the AFC, right? You also have to take this into consideration. Think about when he was playing. Think about the other Hall of Famer that he also had to go through in the AFC, particularly once the guy also went out west, was Mr. Peyton Manning. Yeah. So you have to go through guys like that just to get to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that that should be a knock on Phil Rivers because he couldn't do it. 
th- those are two of the greatest. You know what I'm saying? Those are two of the greatest players ever that he had to go through. He couldn't get through them. Shouldn't be a knock on his. Shouldn't be a knock on his career at all. You have to remember Phil Rivers for he played as long as he did. Pretty much made the Chargers for the years they were relevant. Relevant, even though he did have LT. Did heck here and there, but who who hasn't? And he didn't miss a game, man. This man yeah, did two hundred and forty like, consecutive was, he, starts to end his career. He, he always showed up, and even dude, even till the very end. Obviously, he wasn't the same Phil Rivers that mm-hmm. you know he was seventeen years ago, dude. Indy, Indy was a playoff team this year. Indy was That's a true. playoff team. That's true. And Indy was what one one possession was with within one possession of the team that's playing this weekend in mm-hmm. the AFC Championship game. So yeah. you have to think about that when you think about Fur Rivers. Like he he was a warrior from the minute he set foot in the NFL out of NC State. Uh, he did talk a lot of shit, which I love because I love those quarterbacks. Who, to talk who a lot doesn't of shit. like talk? Who doesn't like someone who talks shit? That and and exactly. it's, it's also not just that he talked shit. It was the way that he talked shit. Philip Rivers would never actually cuss. He would actually he would be he would be saying like, "Ah, oh, dang, go in. You, you can't flab it." Like, like he didn't cuss. He did it all that is seventeen crazy. seasons without cussing. You know, that like is crazy. And he's but, another one, dude. I would love to see him in the booth. I would look because you know he's probably a great football mind, having played so long and having had like the success that he did have, even though he didn't win a championship. I'd love to see him in the booth. Honestly, if he's retiring, offer that man a contract too. Imagine you have him and Drew Brees in the booth breaking down the game for you dude that's i would love to see that i would absolutely love to see that because drew Brees is like you know the laid back kind of like you know like he's he's a dad you know what i'm saying like he's like the laid back and you got phil dude phil's hilarious and the fact that he could talk shit without cursing dude i would love to see this man in the booth honestly yeah i I, i'm not gonna argue with you there i think that i I think that phil rivers is gonna be entertaining and and he's gonna and I think that that not cussing is gonna really attract networks to him, especially. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Um, for more content, please like, hit that notification bell, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and everything like that. And just remember, keep it real.